Pegasus! What did you do to my grandfather? He's been minted to the blockchain, my dear Yugi boy. <laughs> it's unsurprising that memes like this come up since everything from vodka bottles to land itself have been turned into NFTs. If you're new here, I'm Kat. Today on Eat the Blocks, I'm going to show you how to turn your smart contract into an NFT. Before we dive in, let's cover the basics of contract ownership with what is probably the most popular smart contract in Open Zeppelin's library, the Ownable Abstract. Afterwards, we'll talk about their improvements in the new Ownable Two-Step Abstraction, then from there, we'll dive into my very own custom abstraction, Asset. But first, a message from our sponsor. For premium Web3 content, our mentorship program, and access to our private Discord server, sign up today at eattheblocks.com. We have an excellent selection of free and paid courses exclusively available through our main website. Push the bounds of what you think is possible and become the best developer you can be. The Ownable Abstract can be applied to your base contract to automatically register the contract's deployer as its owner upon creation and it saves this variable in a way that is publicly available with his owner method. This owner is just the saved address of a wallet and it must be rewritten every time you want to transfer ownership or redesignate access to the contract's methods that are guarded by this only owner modifier or check owner method. Ownable Two-Step is a new abstraction by OpenZeppelin that builds on this by adding a second step to the transfer of ownership privileges by designating a pending owner and requiring the pending owner to accept ownership before officially handing over the privileges. In both, you have the ability to renounce ownership, which means throwing these privileges away, typically done to instill trust in a token's community. These abstractions are great in their own right and generally useful without modification, but if you have a contract that actually serves as an asset that should be sold or traded, there's no way to put these privileges into escrow for trustless transactions. My solution is to turn these privileges into an NFT, which will be referred to as the access token that your smart contract will interface with in order to define ownership. Owning the expensive JPEG means owning the contract. You might be wondering, why would I do this? Let's assume you're a contractor that just deployed on behalf of a client, but you don't know enough about each other to hold one another accountable. If you've assigned ownership to possessing the NFT, all you have to do is put the token into escrow and wait for your client to fulfill their promise. This way, neither the client nor the contractor can be scammed and everyone walks away happy. The key differences between asset and ownable are primarily internal, which means that it should be nearly indistinguishable except for the ownership transferred event, along with a couple of other methods of which none are called by other contracts. I did this because I wanted it to act as a drag and drop replacement for ownable. The only key difference is that the constructor takes two arguments, the access token's address and ID, because when you transfer ownership, it's actually redesignating the access token. We are only interested in being able to call a single function on the NFT contract, which is owner of, so I went ahead and included this one line interface at the top instead of importing literally everything. Now when you fetch the owner, it goes to the NFT contract to ask who the owner of the saved token ID is, and this results in two ways to exchange ownership, so you can either redesignate the access token to an NFT that somebody else possesses, or you can trade the currently designated access token. If you're interested in trying this contract out or poking around in the unit tests, see the Git repository in the video's description. If you found this explanation helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one.